Welcome back. Hope y'all having a great Thursday. Today I'm going to be talking about Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci. Okay? These have been the two main faces you've been seeing during this, you know, this stuff that's going on around, you know, lately since last year. Over it's been a year now that we've been dealing with this. Of course, Bill Gates has been known to be the Microsoft, you know what I'm saying, geek, engineer, whatever. Man who's so smart about computers and stuff like that, you know. Fixing computer viruses and stuff like that, whatever. But, uh, you know, miraculously, he has become a doctor. Um... Also an immunologist, apparently, you know, a viralist and all that type of stuff. You know, allegedly, you know, I don't, I don't know he had any, uh, you know what I'm saying, any documents or anything proving these things. You know what I'm saying? But somehow, some way, you know what I'm saying, he's been out here giving advice, you know, telling people that they didn't need to take vaccinations, you know, never mention anything, you know, like a real doctor would say, you know, hopefully, you know. Yeah, you know, take care of your immune system, boost it up, you know. This man just been pushing vaccinations for years. Okay, that's all he's been talking about is like vaccinations. And he says that there's too many people here. You know what I'm saying? He said vaccinations and healthcare could bring the percentage of the whole world down to 50%. This is what he said. But anyway, you know, he's been saying these things. But I want you to know that, um, you know, there was this interview I found with him uh, from Global News. And uh, I see that um, he was on there talking about, you know, he, well, he's, you know, he didn't think that it would be like, you know, people having questions about him and Dr. Fauci, you know. You know, I guess creating things, you know what I'm saying, making up stuff or pushing this and that. He says he's, you know, surprised by that. And he hope, you know, you'll see in the interview. It's just, I don't even know why he's really surprised by that when he know what he's been doing. You know what I'm saying? This man, to me, is evil. You know, this is my opinion on him from what I've seen. I'm not trying to make you feel that way. I'm saying I feel this way, okay? That's all I'm saying. But just listen to this interview for one moment. Check this out. Well, definitely... The presence of social media plus a pandemic is a combination that's never been tried before. Uh, and, you know, nobody would have predicted that I and Dr. Fauci would be so prominent in, you know, really kind of evil theories about, you know, did we create the pandemic? Are we trying to profit from it? And on and on. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm very surprised by that. I hope it goes away. I hope it doesn't hold back, you know, mask wearing or seeking out vaccine. Now, do you hear that? Crazy conspiracy theorists. I hate when people use that term because to me, it's no such thing, you know? Um, they call people that for some reason, but I know the reason. The reason is you figured out some shit. You done peeped some shit. It's not about a conspiracy. If it's coming right out of your mouth and you're saying these things, you know, where's the conspiracy? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, can somebody show me somewhere, how can it be a conspiracy when people who have a brain and have eyeballs can see certain things, you know? I'm just saying, this man be saying some crazy stuff, and then he gets surprised when people say this type of thing, like he doesn't know why people are saying this type of stuff. Why would you think, what, what, what do you mean? The way stuff been going, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying, during this time, there's been a lot of misinformation, you know what I'm saying, with, you know what I'm saying, within, this whole field of this, you know what I'm saying? It's been a lot of misinformation, you know? And someone like him who really to me can't be trusted, you know, I don't feel like he should be speaking for us, saying what we need and what, you know what I'm saying, what, you know, uh, what we have to have in our bodies and what we need to do and this and that type of stuff, you know? And then want to put in people's minds that, you know, when people start having questions about certain things, they want to make people think that we're crazy, but you're not crazy if you're using your brain and thinking about stuff. How could, how could you be crazy? That's not a loss of the mind. You know what I'm saying right there? That right there is like you found your mind. You know, you haven't lost nothing. You know what I'm saying? When you figure stuff out like that, it's just you, you peeping using your third eye. If you have ears and you understand English or whatever, if you understand translations, all of that, you'll see that this man can't be trusted. And I don't even know why he's acting shocked like he don't, you know what I'm saying? He's not a doctor. He's not an immunologist. He's not a virologist. You know what I'm saying? He is not someone with the credentials to be speaking upon, you know, on the behalf of us, saying about vaccination that we should take. Especially with all these questions, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of questions. I promise you there's a lot of questions. Like Anthony Fauci, Dr. Fauci. 
like I said, him and Bill Gates have been in the front lines of this, you know what I'm saying, since the beginning. And, you know, apparently for longer than that. Because if you can go back, you know what I'm saying, there's interviews and stuff. And, um, not in, well, yeah, some interviews, but there's also, you know, lectures where Bill Gates speaks about, you know what I'm saying, this stuff, you know what I'm saying, way before, you know, years before it happens. And then they wonder, you know what I'm saying, why we have questions. You know what I'm saying, should we have the right to, you know what I'm saying, have questions? I have an interview where he was asked a question, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, what is it going to be like basically after the vaccination? Will we be safe again? You know what I'm saying? Will we get back to normal? You know what I'm saying? How would it be? And just wait till you hear these answers. To me, these answers were full of uncertainty, if you ask me. Check this out. Watch. Questions that keep coming up. Okay. Um, why do I have to keep wearing the mask after I get the vaccine? I thought it was going to protect me from the vaccine. Uh, what's the answer? Well, the answer is, unless you get the overwhelming majority of the country vaccinated and protected and get that umbrella of what we call herd immunity, there's still a lot of virus out there. There's still a lot of virus out there. So just because you're protected, so-called protected by the vaccine, you need to remember that you could be prevented from getting clinical disease and still have the virus that is in your nasopharynx because you could get infected. We're not sure at this point that the vaccine protects you against getting infected. We're not sure at this point that the vaccine protects you against getting infected. Did we know for sure it's very, very good, 94, 95% in protecting you against clinically recognizable disease. <laughs> clinically recognizable disease, but not COVID? And almost 100% in protecting you for severe disease. <laughs> and almost 100% from severe disease? Well then, what does he call COVID? if that's not serious. But until you have virus that is so low in society, we as a nation need to continue to wear the mask, to keep the physical distance, to avoid crowds. We're not through with this just because we're starting a vaccine program. We're not through with this just because we're starting a vaccine program. Even though you as an individual might have gotten vaccinated, it is not over by any means. We still now. Does that sound like somebody who we should be trusting? People lined up for this. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know, what I'm saying, are depending on this and feel like they really need it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, that's fine for them to feel like that. That's on them. That's why I say that. I'm not. That's fine for them. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, mm -mm. something that you know, what I'm saying, you talking about starting something. Okay, that's that's like some guinea pig shit. That's like we're not lab rats. You know, you're not sure if it works. You don't think that you're not going to be protected if you get it. You still got to wear masks and stuff like that. You still got to be six feet. This is what he said out of his own mouth. I'm not making it up. What do you think about that? If nothing's going to basically change after getting it, you know what I'm saying, how is it helpful? Okay? And you're not sure about anything. You basically just, you know, you didn't, you, you did just say you're not sure about it. And then you acting like it's, like you calling it something separate. What do you mean like recognizable? What do you mean recognizable? What, what do you mean by that? Recognizable? So, are you basically saying that if you put this by itself, you know, isolate this certain thing, it, it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to recognize it? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, these are questions I have. You know what I'm talking about? These are questions that I have. It, it doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to be trying out something on your body, don't, I, I, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't, you know, I'm, I just, me personally, I, I, I can't, I'm not a lab rat. I remember the Tuskegee experiment, you know what I'm saying? And I would never willingly, you know what I'm saying? Sign up for no experiment type shit. Experiment. I'm not a rat. I'm not a, I'm not a guinea pig. I'm none of that shit. And I refuse. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Let's just listen to this man. He sound like a quack. I don't trust Dr. Fauci. And he's, you heard this out of his own mouth. I'm not making any of this up at all. These are my opinions. I'm not trying to persuade anybody, you know what I'm saying, this way or that way. I'm just stating what I heard out of the horse's mouth, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like if you're somebody, you know what I'm saying, who thinks, and you know, as an adult, you know, you can make, nobody can force you to do anything, you know? Think for yourself, you know what I'm saying? That's what I always advise people to do. You know, what I'm hearing this man say to me, just not sitting well with me. You know, and everybody trusts him like he's so smart because, you know, he got on glasses and shit like that. He's a little old man. You know, people love him. You know what I'm saying? But it's always these little sneaky tactics and stuff. And, you know, when people have questions, I mean, I'm really shocked he even said all that. 
you know. I guess he had no choice but to, you know what I'm saying, tell the truth, you know. Because amongst all these different stories, you know what I'm saying, you never know. But this is the thing. Now, Bill Gates act like he doesn't understand why people should have questions, you know what I'm saying, about y'all. Look at the stuff that y'all say. Look how y'all even say it. Just flat out say it. You know, we're not sure at this point, you know what I'm saying, if it's going to work. You don't know the long-term effects of any of this. You know what I'm saying? Certain things you can know the long-term effects, you don't know it. So I just wouldn't even trust these clowns. That's what they are to me. Period. Dot org. Anyway. Thank y'all for watching my um, coffee drinkers. I really, really appreciate y'all. I swear I appreciate y'all so much. You know, even if it's only one or two comments, I appreciate y'all because I know that you're watching and you're engaging. And I enjoy that so much. So thank y'all and I appreciate y'all. Make sure that y'all please go and check out my last video I did last night on Eminem. It's an interesting video. It's called Then Versus Now. You can stay on this channel, kick back, you know what I'm saying, and check it out. Thank y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all Thursday evening. Peace.